Hey, I'm Clara. Welcome back to No Can Do. If you like DIY projects and furniture flipping, this is the channel for you. So make sure to hit subscribe. Today, I'm going to see if I can save this chair. It is gross. It is disgusting. It's the dirtiest chair I've ever seen. Let's see if I can do it. So much furniture ends up in landfills and I wanna do my part to see if I can take the skills that I learned about furniture flipping and help save another item from the landfill. I got this chair for free on Nextdoor and it was in worse condition than I thought. I just picked it up and put it in my car. Didn't really take too good of a look at it. But when I got it back home, I noticed there were so many stains on it. It was missing a part from the armrest. It was really, really, really gross and disgusting. So I knew that I had my work cut out for me with this one and I didn't know if I really could save it. I took the cushion cover off and I threw it in the washing machine. That just saves me some time and manual effort. And then I got started vacuuming this with a shop vac. I already made 25 cents on this flip because I found a quarter in the cushion. And I cleaned out all of the dirt and dust and crumbs and I sprayed the whole thing down with OxyClean. I let that sit for a little bit and then I got to work starting with my Bissell upholstery cleaner and vacuum. I really put this machine to the test with this chair, the dirtiest chair I've ever seen. really had to scrub this piece a lot with the scrub brush on the Bissell and I also had to go over this multiple times to get it some semblance of clean. At a certain point I honestly thought that I was making it worse like pulling up dirt from layers that weren't even exposed because at this point it looked dirtier than it even looked in the beginning. I mean, just looking at the cracks and crevices of what should the color should be versus what it was. It's just so, so gross. Watch closely at the little plastic suction window and you can see just how dirty the water is that is coming up when I'm vacuuming this. After thoroughly going over the chair, this is what the dirty water tank looked like. You couldn't see through it, it was that brown. I decided to take a little bit of a break from vacuuming the chair and I removed the skirt. Now, I've told you before and I'll tell you again, don't rip the skirt off. So I didn't rip the skirt off. I'm just taking off these corner pieces that were a little awkward and just taking the staples out there. Then I am just cutting in from the corner a little bit so that I can fold the skirt under. And I'm gonna fold the skirt over or under and I'm going to then go ahead and staple it in place. This looks so much better in my opinion than ripping the skirt off and I knew that if I ripped the skirt off of this one, there would be an area of fabric at the bottom of it 
that would be clean or cleaner because it's been covered with a skirt and it would be a completely different color than the rest of the chair. So to avoid that, you can just fold the skirt over or under and staple it in place. I have a whole video all about that, which I will link in the description. Once I was done with the skirt, I went over the entire chair again with the Bissell Spot Clean. It was looking a little bit better, but it was still looking pretty disgusting, honestly. I had to bring the OxyClean back out again because some of these dirt stains were just so deep and tough and just caked on there. I just wanted to try anything I could to get some of these dirt stains out as well as the dirt. So I spent about two hours cleaning this chair, I'm not kidding, like literally two hours vacuuming, shampooing, spot cleaning this chair. I'm really glad that I did because it was extremely dirty, but even after the second go around, the water tank was still disgusting. Still a dark, brown, opaque, dirty tank. You can just see it there like bubbling as I'm going over the chair. So I wasn't sure how many more times I was going to need this chair, but after vacuuming it for like two hours, my hand was starting to cramp up. So you can still see there's some stains and some dirt on the arms, but there's also those like rusty nails that are in there that are not over on the other side. So I know that's gonna be a problem I'm gonna have to deal with in a little bit, but I just went through and hot glued the edges or the corner pieces that I had cut the fabric and just made sure that the areas that had been stapled were really secure and in there in place. Still looking rough, but I've made progress at this point. So now I decided to go over the legs with some simple green and just kind of scuff off any marks or get any of the dirt and dust off of the legs and just shine them up a little bit. I took the cushion cover out of the wash, I dried it on the line, and then I went ahead and stuffed the cushion back in. I think it's worth it to wash the cushion covers in the laundry because it's just really fast, but it is a little annoying to have to stuff the cushion back in. I let this chair dry overnight and here's what we're working with right now. Again, it's not perfect, but it's so much better than it was before and at least a lot cleaner. But it's still not saved. I haven't fully saved this chair yet and I wouldn't want it in my home. 
So I've come a long way from where I started with this chair, but now I need your help. I'm not sure what to do with the arms, with the spots that are there and how rusty nails on them. I'm not sure if I should recover them. I'm not sure if I should take some leftover fabric from the skirt and try and put it on there. I was thinking about getting some flat fabric buttons or some rosette or using some fabric that I already have and trying to make that into something nice to put on there. I'm really not sure. So I need your help. Down in the comments below, please let me know what you think I can do to save this chair. If you have any ideas at all, any ideas about what I could do to make the arms of this look better, please type them down below. I'm going to take all your suggestions and do some research. And next Thursday, I'm going to go live on YouTube and I'm going to pick one of the suggestions and apply it and try to save this chair live on YouTube. So make sure again that you're subscribed, hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated when I go live. And I will see you guys Thursday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.